What's good guys, my name is Oleg Nikitin and you're watching No Limits On, the channel about the privilege of being a freelancer. And today I'm having a pretty nice package right here. This is Rode Wireless Go. Uh, today I'm at the clinic where I'm shooting a YouTube channel for my client. So that is why I'm trying to stay here. And this is the first, try, um, the first time actually I'm trying this uh, audio system. Uh, I have decided to buy this one because I had an interview of two people uh, sitting in the frame. So I had one wireless microphone from Sennheiser, the current mic I'm using right now. And the second one I have decided to buy this one because it's pretty compact, small and really versatile. So let's find out how it compares to the Sennheiser and overall quality and what's inside this box. Okay guys, here is what's inside of this box. First of all, we have this pretty nice pouch with Velcro on it and it's a pretty soft inside, which is great. Nice carrying case. Also, we have two muffy, fluffy dead cats, which is good because they kind of cancel the wind noise. But actually, I've heard a lot of, uh, you know, words that it detaches throughout the shooting. So I'll find this out in a few moments when I come inside, not inside, outside and check out this mic outside. Also, we have a receiver, which is this unit right here. Uh, it charges via USB type C. Also, we have two USB type C, USB type A cables, pretty nice labeled row cables. Also, we have here the microphone itself. We can plug in the Lavalier mic. Also, they are uh, charged via USB Type C, and the internal battery is inside. Uh, and I have charged uh, it from my power bank through the cable included. And it took me for about 15 to 20 minutes and I had about a half the charge of this thing. And actually I made for about an hour of shooting together with my customers. And also here we have a pretty nice, not very long, but very nice cable from Rode, uh, which is a mini jack cable. So let's find out how it sounds compared to my kit, which is the Sennheiser microphone. Okay guys, now we are hearing the sound of Rode Wireless Go plugged into Sony A6300. And right now I'm switching to the Sennheiser microphone through the A7S2. Now you hear my voice through this setup, Sennheiser and Sony A7S2. Here is the lavalier mic and here is the inbuilt in mic of the Rode Wireless Go. It has three different settings of gain, uh, minimum, medium and maximum. I have it on medium and my camera sensitivity in terms of audio is set to one. So it's a pretty nice gain level. Okay, and the next setup is uh, now this is the transmitter without any lavalier mic and I plugged in my lavalier mic into the Rode Wireless Go transmitter. And now you're hearing the sound of this Sennheiser lavalier mic through this transmitter. Uh, let's find out how it sounds. So guys, here I have my pouch with the Sennheiser system. Inside we have the receiver, the transmitter, a couple of cables and all, everything I need and a couple of spare batteries, everything I need for this audio kit. And now compare this one to this one. It's much, much smaller and a ton lighter. So I guess this is my go-to, you know, kind of vlogging setup right now if the sound is even better in the windy conditions because my level air mic from Sennheiser catches a little bit of wind noise. If those muffy things can cancel this wind noise better than the current level air mic, I'll be switching to my vlogging setup to the Rode Wireless Go. So how's the sound right now? I guess it's working pretty good. And now it's time to go outside and try to check if the wind noise is, um, you know, is a thing for this wireless microphone system. Let's go. Oh guys, and one more thing. I've been charging my uh, transmitter and my camera from the power bank I have, the 20,000 milliamp hours from Xiaomi, and it was giving me some, uh, you know, noise and interference. So I could not charge it simultaneously. Either I had to plug out the camera charger or the transmitter charger. Keep this in mind, guys, and remember to monitor uh, through the headphones your audio all the time. Those muffy things, how do I attach them? Maybe I should use a rubber string or something. Okay guys, I'm finally here at my home and my backyard and here I'm using the Rode Wireless Go with this furry thing, the dead cat, whatever you call this. I couldn't touch uh, and attach, actually not touch, but attach this to the microphone without using my daughter's, you know, um, special rubber strap. So 
I made it like this and hopefully it sounds pretty nice. And my roadiness is kind of, you know, tilting everywhere, but it doesn't really matter. So right now we're checking out the audio right here from this microphone under pretty windy conditions. It's right now very windy here. And then we'll check out if it's okay uh, compared to the Sennheiser kit and uh, in terms of distance and in terms of uh, signal quality and the sound quality. So here is the test. Okay, guys, now it's time to compare my Sennheiser kit, Sennheiser G3. Yeah, I'm right. It's the Hazard G3 uh, on Sony A7S II and the Rode Wireless Go on Sony A6300, which is shooting me right now. Okay, now you hear the sound of Rode Wireless Go with a special wind protector on it. And now you hear the sound from Sennheiser G3. How does it compare? One, two, mic check. And now I'm going to go further and continue talking and you'll hear when the signal is going to be lost. Also, I will turn, so I'll block the signal from the transmitter to the receiver and vice versa. And we'll find out if it's okay to do, you know, a pretty far away shot using this system. Okay, let's go. Okay, guys, now I'm about, uh, you know, a meter and a half from the camera. You're hearing right now the audio from two different systems. And now I'll be going backwards, so you'll hear me talking. I'll continue talking. So right now I'm walking backwards and you can see clearly that the receiver, I mean the transmitter and the receiver are pretty close to each other right now. I'm about 5 uh, meters, actually it's about 7 or even 10 meters. Then I'm going further, I hope that the system is still working. And then I'm turning backwards and now my back is blocking the signal probably. So you can hear either the Sennheiser sound or the wireless go sound. And now I'm turning back again. So right now I'm about uh, 20 to 22 meters away from the camera. I hope the audio is still there. And now I'm going to go behind the huge, huge building. So this amount of concrete will block the signal for sure. Let's find out if the Sennheiser works still in this conditions. And also while I'm going, you can hear the quality of the sound of both of the devices. And right now I'm actually behind the building. So you can now hear, or maybe you cannot hear, that I am there. So this is the test. Okay guys, I'm back and now you've heard the results of the test. I hope this was pretty obvious to you and to me. I guess during the editing process I'll find out which one was the best. I guess it was the Sennheiser. But I really wonder if this Muffy deck cat really makes the difference in terms of the audio quality in the windy condition. Okay guys, that's been it, my review of Rode Wireless Go system. I guess it went uh, pretty okay and I'm really satisfied with my purchase. So we're moving on to the quote of the episode. When we overvalue possessions, we undervalue life. And the question of the episode, do you use Rode Wireless Go system? If yes, please write down in the comment section below your thoughts about this system. This was Alek Nikitin and No Limits On. Take care guys, see you in the next video. Bye.